Welcome back. And when we left off last, uh, we were halfway through laying up the first part of the uh, mold for the main spar. And here we are starting out with uh, putting the four layers of heavy carbon on that one. So that's progressing. And here is the um, fixture where you're going to be using for trimming the front windshield. And that's getting just um, a light layer of um, fiberglass on there so we can spray it with putty and then put it back under the mill again. So um, just this is similar process we use for creating our plugs, but obviously this one will be used again and again and again as a fix as a fixture. So here what's going on is this is the roof mold and what we're doing is we're using the CNC machine to align these bushings that will be used as bolt holes um, to bolt the door inserts into place before we actually lay up the part. Um, so in that way, what we end up with when we lay up the roof is we end up with the roof and the door frames integrated into there so we don't actually have to create the door frames as a separate thing and then bond them into place. So this will be much, a much stronger um, and quicker solution when it's done um, because the, the door frames will be fully integrated into the roof. And then the, the top roof will just mate with the lower fuselage and we'll just be using some high sole to bond the bottom of the door frame into the lower part of the fuselage. So there was about 18 of these um, that'll hold the door, um, the door inserts in place. And you'll see that uh, going forward and here is the center section for the mold for the main spar, all finished. And uh, Devin's there prepping um, the actual sides of it there so we can lay the other parts of it um, that need those boards, or actually the boards are removed and then the, the back side of those flanges were waxed. And then there's the uh, fixture for the window, for the front window, all finished in glass. And so the next thing is to put some... Uh, tubes in there that made into that uh, channel around the outside, the vacuum channel, and you'll see that shortly. So last time you saw this um, part being laid up, and this is like a front fascia um, for the air intake that sits um, on the roof at the aft bulkhead. So that's basically sitting back on the mold, and here it is actually released. So it's just a small part, but it's, um, you know, it's necessary to have this. And it came out fine and not very complicated. It has a little bit of core in there, half inch, just because it is a pressure wall. And here you can see just sort of rough fit in place, how it's going to sit mating up to the aft uh, bulkhead. So it still needs to be, have some final trim work and stuff done on, done on it. And here's the left side of the roof mold with uh, seven of the um, bushings all potted into place. And there's actually two more above that um, brace on the top there. So you'll see those a little bit later. Next up, here's the plastic tube. And this is three eighths of an inch, uh, just sort of air tube that we're gonna use for vacuum. Just sort of potted into two different places there so we can pull a vacuum on that channel. And there'll also be a seal around the edge there that'll, that'll seal the um, glass when it's sitting on there so we get a good tight vacuum and here's the same setup here on the side windows ones but and you'll see those got potted into place there and ultimately we just sort of drill a hole in there so we can get the vacuum to come through and here is the main spar again with the uh, ends uh, with the top coat put on there so there's again two layers of or two coats of uh, top coat get put on there before we go and put the uh, lightweight glass and then the lightweight carbon and here's jeff about halfway through laying up the rear pressure bulkhead part so this was one that we were cutting all the different core pieces for i guess a week ago now but we were waiting um on mark to give us a little bit more information on um where we needed to put and how big those pieces of FR4 needed to be. So anyway, that's all sorted out now. So Jeff was laying that up. And here's the guys a little bit further along. They're actually putting the first coat of uh, fiberglass over the ends of the main spar uh, for the mold. 
So just working that into place. And again, this is the one that we just have to make sure we have no bubbles on there. And there it is uh, at the end of the day, this is finished, at least finished with the first phase. So it has the lightweight, uh, well, sorry, the fiberglass on there and the two layers of light uh, carbon fiber on there. So all that's remaining on that is to do the heavy and um, then that mold will be ready. And here's Jeff just getting towards the end of the day here. This was on Thursday, um, putting the vacuum bag in, into place for this um, rear pressure bulkhead. And you see he has uh, two of those, what we call the frogs, um, those metal connectors there for where the air hoses hook up and all the other good stuff has been laid in there. The peel ply and um, the breather um, plastic and then the um, breather fabric and then next with the um, vacuum bag and there it is under vacuum and got a nice good seal on there everything's pulling sort of tight around the core and any excess resin is coming uh, to the surface so looks like uh, that one came out nicely and you'll see that uh, shortly and by shortly i mean right now so there it is actually released from the mold and you see those little uh, inserts sticking out there in FR4 with a little bit of uh, cabocillin resin. Those are where the top part of the landing gear scissor mechanism bolts into place. So they're just hard points sort of put there. And that insert in the middle there is to meet up with a brace that we have that uh, matches up to the aft bulkhead. And here's the guys uh, finishing off the main spar mold. So this is just putting the four layers of uh, heavy carbon fiber on there to wrap that one up. And nothing really complicated on this one. Actually, it went fairly quick and they had that done uh, yesterday morning. And like with all the molds we're creating, it's important to make sure that there's no bubbles, either air or resin trapped underneath each layer. So you've got to uh, get it nicely pushed down or rolled. And finally, here we are with the roof mold and we're um, putting some carbon fiber over all of those bushings to hold them into place. So uh, next up we'll be working more on the uh, door inserts to try and get those plugs ready so we can create the inserts. And also uh, next week I think we'll be laying up the actual part for the nose and a couple of other different things. So thanks again for watching, that's our update for this week.